Israel has imposed firm restrictions on the entry of Palestinians to the Al-Aqsa Mosque prior to the Jewish holiday. Our correspondent, Noah Harazin, has more. The Israeli occupation forces deployed thousands of army soldiers and placed its police forces on high alert in Jerusalem's old town in preparation for the Jewish holiday Yom Kippur. Eyewitnesses have said that Israeli fears the eruption of security issues between Jewish worshippers and Palestinians during the holiday. It has therefore imposed restrictions on the entry of Palestinians into the Al-Aqsa Mosque in order to ensure security for Jewish prayers. Although Muslims are celebrating the second day of Eid al-Adha holiday, which ends on Sunday, Israel has restricted their free movement into the Holy Mosque for prayers. This is really practices and procedures against the Al-Aqsa Mosque encourage war crimes. They come in the framework of the Israeli policy of the Judaization of Jerusalem in attempt to transfer the city to what they call the capital of the state of Israel. For our people, Jerusalem and the Alaska Mosque are red lines, so we will defend the Alaska Mosque by all means. On Friday and during the al aid el -Adha celebrations in Jerusalem, we will be limited to performing their religious rituals, but the Palestinian people will fight for freedom until they can enjoy their holy lands freely. In the wake of the clashes, the president of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, argued the international community and the Arab countries to pressure the occupation state to stop its violations and harassments against Palestinians in East Jerusalem. The director of Occupied Jerusalem Waqaf Ministry, Sheikh Azam al Khatib, confirmed on Wednesday that banning the entry of Palestinians under 40 years to the Al Aqsa Mosque means that Israel has actually imposed a temporal division on the Holy Mosque. Nuharazin Telesu TV, Gaza.